Ohm, what up? Solar Renekton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. Oh, maybe it's... Hold up. What if I do that? Maybe that's better. Maybe that's the way. There's two ways you can move that knob. Moved it the other way. Hopefully it sounds better. That's it. Boom. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. <laughs> I gotcha. On my mic, you can scroll it one way or the other. I think it changes like the direction of the sound or whatever. This guy's pushing the wave as a Lowry early game with tier. I don't think that's a great idea. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's a bad idea. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, like I'm not gonna walk up. <laughs> like what? This wave's pushed out. So all I have to do is just freeze it. It's a great position for me. Alawi doesn't want to be overextended. I mean, if you watch the, uh, I think it was yesterday's video, we talked about like Alawi early game, all pain. I do not care. Hot potion. Auto W. Walk with him. Hey. Yeah. And that right there is why you don't push up with a Lowry. What do you do after you land E? Your E doesn't do anything early game. Like the E is terrifying later on when you have ultimate and stuff, but early game a Lowry is weak as hell. That's why you want them to push you in, play defensive, sit under tower. Especially if you go something like a tier. A tier is going to make you a lot weaker, right? You know, you're taking a power trough to spike harder later, right? Like you're the same thing with the coal. Trade off in the early game. More power in the later game. We want to do Triforce build. I want. We do that plus boots. That'd be cool, maybe. Let's go like this. I think. Not bad. Not bad. Darius abuse. He's really solid right now. It's kind of funny. Like my whole champion pool is actually quite well. Minus Renekton. Darius is really good. Uh, Mord's really good right now. A lot of the stuff I play, and realistically, most of the top laners are just solid. Pretty varied pool available. Uh, let's put a pink down. Again, this guy's uh, slow pushing, but there's nothing you can do about this. I shoved the wave in a tower, so it's going to bounce back and look like this. No, no, no. Sweet. You want to make sure you're taking out these tentacles when you can. And then you're most strong whenever Alawi misses. So the way I like to think, I don't like to think about like, it's too difficult to be, to know like exact things. You just want to have general ideas. Like I'm strong in these type of scenarios. Cause then it like shortcuts a whole bunch of things. You don't have to like overthink a million different variables for all the different situations. You just have to think like, okay, generally when I'm Alawi and I hit E, this is good, <laughs> right? So. The inverse. Generally, when Alawi misses E, it's gonna be good. I'm gonna try and go in on that. Maybe fight around that. Pre pre six. Stuff like that. Cause then your mind can like quickly shortcut. And be like, okay, well, in these types of situations, I generally do this type of play. Okay, we need to try and make something happen with our ghost here. Oh. That's gonna hit. Oof. Oh, careful there, buddy. We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> it four stacks, so I have QR. The flash with the Q. Land that shit, that's five stack. Press R. Easy peasy. Not too bad, not too bad. Again, we got four stacks while hiding behind the minion, right? Preventing Alawi from being able to hit us with E. So hide behind a minion, get a couple stacks. And then by the time she actually goes for the play, you know, she's got four stacks on her. I can just make a flash on her E. Even if she hit E there, I'm probably killing her before she even does anything. Wouldn't even save her. Her animations are so slow too. Nice. Keep the punish up. This plus boots for sure. Movement speed's gonna be a real key here. Again, trying to dodge E, right? 
pretty easy to dodge stuff when you run fast. Tips with SRO. Nice, nice, nice. Don't need all of our mana. I probably waited a little bit too long. I can easily generate this as I run back to lane. No need to overstay in the pool. Mm -hmm. uh, divine still, yeah. I always see this on some champions. I'm like, what the hell are they building? But it builds into everything now. Back in the day, it didn't. Back in my day. Grandpa SRO. 12 years of League of Legends experience. Whoa. Okay, what did we say before? We're real strong when that happens. What am I trying to do? I think. Oh, I still got hit, bro. Ew. All right. Whatever. Not exactly what I want to do. Or ease back up now. I mean, if I didn't get hit by the double slam, I have like this much health, and it's much easier to keep going. Now I kind of have to be smart. Get a little bit of health back. I'm gonna have E up. I'm not gonna have much else. I like kill even if she like straight up ERs me. I'll walk straight down. Oh god. Hold up. Yeah, I see. Bad time. Oh, that's a good time. That's a bad time. Bro. I love how I main that champ and I just still do the dumbest shit into it. <laughs> that's why I allow is so good. Because people do stupid shit into her. Like, I even know what I'm supposed to do, and I'm still like, nah, I can still make it work. You get greedy. Like, this is so good for her. She hit E, she's full killing it. Like, I need to just walk away. That's the thing. It's like, uh... In golf, it's like you take your medicine. Like, you hit a really bad first shot into, like, the fucking woods. And instead of trying to blast it from out the woods through 100 trees, you just hit it back into the middle. And then hit a regular shot. You take like an extra stroke to, you know, get back in. It's one of those ones where you're like, I need to take my medicine. I lose this situation, just simply walk away. It's bad, but me fighting is just going to make it worse. So accept I suck and I got hit with the E and just back out. They like did the max range E and let me walk into it. I was gonna try and walk into range and then like pull out. But I ended up just like literally facing right into it. Like a noob. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude, you're getting embarrassed. Oh, that'd be Q. Come on now. Five stack, baby. Nah, chill. What's my ease up? I think we lose this. Ooh. I'm just gonna kill these. <laughs> Yo, dude, please just walk in and kill him, man. He's got nothing left. Oh my god. <laughs> please. <laughs> oh, shit. Killing me. Oh! Almost in zero, it spawned. God oh, damn. He's got no health, man. You just pop your spell shield and you press E and <laughs> you kill him. Alright. The thing with Alawi is her. When she's low HP, she's kind of easy to kill. Because her abilities actually take a while to cast. Because the E animation takes forever, and then you have to, you know, R, which is like jump in the air and land. That takes forever, and then you can finally slam with W. Like, come on. It's like four hours. Your E on Nocturne's gonna proc, you're gonna kill the guy three times over in that amount of time. That's why you have to use like range, your advantage on Alawi, right? Until you're like super far ahead or whatever. But when you see me play, I'm like seeing max range, looking for E's. I hit the E, cool, I keep playing aggressive, I miss the E, nope, I'm backing up. Waiting for it to be back off a of cooldown again. I don't trust that one. I would normally leave the backline minions like that, the low HP ones, because they're going to help push your wave a lot, but... Not worth losing it. Alright, we got to watch out, he's going to try and sneak the E on me here. Ooh. 
Oh my gosh. But no E. We're very strong. Walk up and just take this. She has no control when she misses that E. Now, ideally, again, talking about like situations, when is she stronger? She's stronger in situations where she has more tentacles. So like one of my like mini games is constantly trying to take out tentacles. So whenever she misses E, I have a huge opportunity because I'm not going to get hit by the E. Now I know I'm being super specific about this matchup, but these are like the ways you should think about matchups in general. Like it's not, this guy does X, I have to do Y. It's like, you know, it's too much shit to remember. <laughs> That's way too much shit to remember. Like people ask me about matchups and I'm like, well, I generally know what, like I don't have any like specific like ideas. Just when I play it, I generally know what's the right things to do. Then you just adapt. Oops. Remember back when uh, you used to have to like kill two of them or some shit? It's so weird. Kind of bait out the E. Cool. Auto W. Ready? There it is. Now I'm extremely strong. He just runs off the screen, bro. He knows. He's like, nah, I'm good. He's probably listening. Nah, I'm good. I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> He's in this bush. It's a... Uh... Oh. Yoink. Get this dead, bud. I mean, it's close. It does good damage, but... I should have enough to win that. Beautiful. Not too bad at all. Time to go. We like it. Let's get that death stance. Looking good. I also think about boots here. Probably. Oh my god. Not probably. Definitely. Grabbing them right there. Boom. Rampage. Let's go. 21 at 9. Looking pretty good. They're mid lane strong. Finally, has got some gold, but a lot of deaths. A lot of deaths. That's an absolute bloodbath. Allowy into the bot lane now. I just hate tier. Like, as a first buy. Especially on, like, maybe Allowy. Like, you take Q level 1. You know what this guy did? He did it. He started pushing the wave. Yeah. I was going to say, like, maybe you take it. Or you do something else, right? And then you just do three, if, like if you're gonna push like that, right? You just shove in three waves. So that's 19 CS, you know, you're not gonna get all of them. You get 15, whatever, that's 400 gold. You know, that's the same thing people do with Cole. Cole's 450. So why not just do a cheat? It's called Cheater's Recall. If you wanna like, you know, YouTube and watch LS explain it to you. But you shove three waves in a tower and then you leave. And then the wave's gonna slow push back to you. So you don't miss out on anything. And you get like, you know, an extra little buy in there. So you start with a regular item, then you back and you get a tier. You start with a regular item, you do that same thing, you back and you get a uh, a coal. Like those are strategies you could do. I don't. I just don't like tier first. Tier first and then to push aggressively. Like it just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. I am very strong right now. There's four people in bot. This dude is dead. Adios, pal. Healing this though. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Aw. That's how we get both. Go do it. Yo, he tried to yoink it. You like that from you, huh? About that. I'm just gonna walk here, grab this. Doing real well. Death Dance is gonna help a lot. It's gonna give us more survivability. You know, reduce the damage that we're taking, delaying it over time. Now we're still gonna take the same amount of damage, but it just delays it over time, which gives us a chance to heal up with our Q. Our Q heals uh, based on missing health. And then we'll follow this up with some other goodies. Probably uh, Death Stance here. Or, uh, sorry, no. Dead Man's Plate, rather. 30 seconds on Dragon. I gotta get down there. Oh, 
Oh. That goes for this fight. Oh god. That's probably not the guy you want to hook, actually. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Oh wait, it's Swain. <laughs> probably not the guy. Oh, they actually might not get the kill though. That hook was good though. I mean he's getting a dub. He's uh dragging up right now. Oh, maybe not. Oh, nice reset. Nice little auto attack reset. Going for the max range hook, this guy. Yeah, we can still do this. They're gonna get pressured into going to mid lane. I think. Come here, Dumbo. Oh, that was epic, bro. That was sick, man. <laughs> but I do good for you. you. Like that flash away, you're probably like, what the fuck is he doing? This guy's so dumb. He's so bald. Look at his head. It's so shiny. But no, I know the right move. Flash away, deny him like two auto attacks. Our range back in there. Look at this range. People always doubt it. It's a gap closer. I've used it as a gap closer before. Bolted on like two stacks and stuff. Close that distance. He's a peasy. Whew. Not too bad. Oh Jesus! No wonder you do so much damage. Woo! Oh, that's so good for me. Ward the corner. Ward the corner. Take a good path. Oh, okay. We thought uh, the dude was down here. <laughs> They're up here. Oh, you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Bye. Goodbye. And we get dragon off of him, sending two people top for whatever reason. Good blood. Look at all this extra gold. Five gold here, five gold there. Auto W, get the reset, get the mana refund. Nice. Yeah, they have. Ooh, hello, Grump. Hello, Grump. Oh, yeah, you guys always blame me. Dude, you pour your bleeds to enough damage. I always just stand there and last at the camp. I don't know why. Oh, shit. bleed it out there we go I don't know why that guy stayed remotely close like I'm just gonna get a reset off of you and the reset is important not for the fact that my ult comes back it's important because it gives me my passive so it gives me the five stacks immediately because I didn't get five stacks off of uh, hitting the blitzcrank I got five stacks off of killing him with my R and then once I have the five stacks it's super easy to give it to the other guy with that one Q Allow he has five stacks, are dead by a 900 damage ultimate. Sit down. Sit down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Nice. Getting spicy over there. Speaking of getting spicy, how about we get spicy, okay? I'm not backing because I have death stance and I completely forgot about it. Let's try that one again. Alright. Um... Hmm. I mean, I'm down with Black Cleaver. I like, never go Black Cleaver anymore. But the combo is really good. If you didn't know, Darius bleeds count as physical, or not count as, but they are. Bleeds deal 72 physical damage over 5 seconds. You can stack up to 5 times. But yeah, those the bleeds are physical damage. If you have armor pen, you're reducing the uh, damage that the that armor would reduce your bleeds by. It's not like it's true damage or anything. But also, oh god. This might not work. Yeah. I want to keep going. Oh god, bro. I don't know if that's the move. There it 
this, dude. Damn. I'm getting scammed today. Please hook me! You're so dumb. This dude is a god. I have five stack. Oh. I don't know why you're standing so close. I think I go for this guy with him. Oh. <laughs> oh, you wink it. Uh oh. As you're land that. Uh oh. oh okay. <laughs> Yo, when that champ presses the outplay button, that's my favorite. I'm gonna press R and do 2000 damage. Get outplayed. Good try. Oh, you wanna do that? Pretty spicy. But yeah, every time our... I didn't even finish explaining it. <laughs> every time our bleeds tick, we get a stack of the armor shred. So if I hit auto somebody one time, it'll fully stack the black cleaver. Or if my Q hit somebody once, right? Because my Q will apply the bleed. So I can Q an entire team, and then over that time of, the, of that bleed, they're all gonna have full stacks of black cleaver. Like, it's actually insane if you have a high uh, physical damage team, which we do. Well, mainly this guy. Sweet. Level 16 as well. Hello, my friend. I have a million stacks of the bad. Okay. Don't do it! See ya! <laughs> See ya! Don't even try me, buddy. Okay? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with this. Let's get it. Get a BT. 332 attack damage. That's not even counting the additional 180. 180 additional attack damage when I have 5 stacks. Because, you know. Nothing like getting... 4.5 BF swords. <laughs> what the fuck? That's actually insane. Bye. Oh. Oh god. Missed the E. This guy's so dead. This guy's this is why Alawi sucks. You watch yesterday's video, you're like, oh my god, Alawi seems like the most blessed champion in the world. Oh my god. Yeah, you miss E and you just run for your life for ten seconds until it's back up. And he's like, it's back. I'm ready to mess you guys up. You're not gonna hit it though. You're not gonna hit it though. You gotta hit it, are you? I can't catch the guy if I'm <laughs> if I'm dodging. Alright. Oh! Yo. Oh! Okay, he did it. Come on. I feel like you can't even kill me. Wait, you don't do anything. I already used my grab. If I still had it up, I could have caught him. Alright, I forgot I was like actually really tanky to this guy. Oh, no. oh surrender. Surrender this. Oh, one more. Oh! Come on, dude. I've been robbed. I've been robbed. Alright. GG well played. Darius. Okay. Give him the D. I love it. I love it. Can give it to this dude. He played well. Played well. Whole team played well. Bot lane was an absolute bug. blood bath. I liked it. I liked it. S plus on the Darius. That's how I do. Beautiful. Number one damage in the entire universe minus this person. Wow. What did we do? Self mitigated. Oh my god, number one in that as well. It's beautiful. GG well played. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you're watching over on the YouTube, like the video. Subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching over the live stream, follow the live stream. GG well played. 1111. One, one, one. Wow. Much fun. Peace.